The Eastern Cape is South Africa's second largest province and is a region of striking and diverse beauty. Landscapes vary from lush forests, vast grasslands and savanna to high mountain ranges, rivers and paradisical coastlines. It's not all wild terrain though, as the Eastern Cape houses two major shoreline cities in Kebeha and East London, as well as a number of charming small towns such as Makanda, Krafrenet and Konse, full to the brim with history. Thanks to the Eastern Cape's developed network of air, roads and railway infrastructure, all of these locales are easily accessible and within a few hours travel from each other. The Eastern Cape is certainly blessed with a plethora of easy to reach, unique and authentic locations waiting to bring life and character to the screen. You will love living and working in the Eastern Cape as it affords a lifestyle with modern necessities and desires of adventure met. Here, there are more than 300 days of sunshine per year. A magnificent coastline plunges into the warm Indian Ocean. Numerous unspoiled rivers and estuaries run into the sea. And in winter, snow-capped mountains march inland. This, along with the services and amenities of the nearby cities, ensures that the Eastern Cape will meet every film crew's needs. Whether you're looking for a location, planning a shoot or seeking additional crew members, the Eastern Cape has the resources you need. The Eastern Cape people are passionate about film and television and are proud of their homeland that has the ability to enhance and inspire your film production work. The Eastern Cape is divided into six districts and two metropolitan areas. The Sarabatman district encompasses the Garden Route, Karoo, Frontier Country and the Eastern Cape's largest metropolitan, Nelson Mandela Bay. On the Garden Route, you will discover some of the most dramatic and unspoiled lands in the country, most notable of which is the Tsitsikama Reserve Evergreen Forests. The seaside towns of Jeffreys Bay and Cape St. Francis are home to some of the world's best surf beaches and nearby Bavian's Kloof Nature Reserve is one of the world's 34 biodiversity hotspots and listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Karoo is a huge semi-desert of vast rugged beauty and is dominated by flat plains, rocky mountains and endless fields of grassland vegetation. Nestled amongst the Karoo scenery lies the frontier town of Krafrenet. South Africa's fourth oldest town is still populated with well-maintained buildings dating back to the 1700s. Nelson Mandela Bay is home to one of South Africa's major cities in the Eastern Cape. It's a modern-day city and contains all the goods and services you would expect from any major center in the world, including the internationally recognized film school AFTA. Known as the Friendly City, it offers a large and diverse selection of scene setters, including historical heritage sites, a magnificent beachfront promenade and a bustling city center, complete with high-rise buildings and well-maintained highways and byways. The city's airport is known as the 10-minute airport as you are never more than 10 minutes drive from areas of importance in the city. Kabeha's climate is rated as fourth best of any coastal city in the world, therefore outdoor attractions and activities are plentiful. The bay has a thriving marine environment and has been named the bottlenose dolphin capital of the world. The Amatola district stretches along the Sunshine Coast from the Fish River mouth, along the eastern seaboard, up to the Wild Coast. It includes the metro of Buffalo City and various towns dot the landscape, most popular being Hogsback, which is where J.R.R. Tolkien found inspiration in the mountainous forests for his book series The Lord of the Rings. The district encompasses numerous and beautiful rivers and estuaries, as well as charming seaside hamlets such as Hamburg and Wavecrest, forest trails, dramatic cliffs and unique experiences are all easily accessible. Buffalo City is a laid-back city on the Sunshine Coast and is also known as the gateway to the Wild Coast. Famous for its long white sand beaches and consistent surf, it is an ocean lover's paradise. Though Buffalo City has various productive industries, it still holds a certain holiday town charm. The city's history is also evident as several well-preserved examples of 19th century architecture can still be seen in the city centre. Only 15 kilometres away is the urban township of Mdansane, 
renowned for producing some of the world's best boxers, it is affectionately known as the home of boxing. Buffalo City's close proximity to game parks and nature reserves is something visitors find most amazing. Within minutes of leaving the city, spotting wild buck, giraffe and even elephant is not uncommon. As an addition to filming here, the Eastern Cape Film Hub has made its home in Buffalo City and can offer access to necessary equipment, information and personnel. Buffalo City boasts South Africa's only river port and is well situated for servicing the industrial sector. With the airport only 7 kilometers away, transport planning and logistics will be a breeze. The most famous coastline on the African continent lies within the O.R. Tambo district, the Wild Coast. 200 kilometers of pristine beaches, rolling green hills and valleys, a location scout's dream destination. The town of Port St. John's provides the perfect base from which to explore, and the scenery that the gates of St. John provide is simply magnificent. The main center of the O.R. Tambo district is Mtata, where the beautiful Nelson Mandela Museum resides. Mkambati Nature Reserve is nothing shy of an African coastal paradise, and nearby Mboti offers additional ocean, forest and river views. The impressive Magua Falls lies within a large tea plantation. Its curtain of water falls 140 meters into a narrow gorge. It is truly a natural wonder. The Alfred and Zor district, known for spectacular mountain scenery of the southern Drakensberg and the source of the Imzimvubu River, the area is steeped in African culture and contains many traditional villages. The area is rugged, rural and beautiful. Barclay East, Tiffendale and the Overston Reserve, amongst others, make up the Jokabi district. It is one of the few areas in South Africa where winter snowfall is heavy enough for winter sports to be pursued. And from the banks of the picturesque Lunkloof River, the district boasts the finest trout fishing in the country. The Chris Harney district landscape ranges from the grassland hills to the arid Karoo scrubland and is characterized by its rural settlements and agricultural activities. The center of the district is Komani, which is subsequently also the center of the Eastern Cape. Komani's beautiful suburbs, large gardens and open places of flowers have earned it the nickname Rose Capital of South Africa. You will love working here. The positive lifestyle experience the Eastern Cape provides boosts general happiness and hospitality amongst its people. This, in turn, creates a productive work environment and many international companies enjoy the superior workforce and logistical advantages offered by the province. The Eastern Cape Development Corporation provides a one-stop location for your commercial film investment needs. The Trade, Investment and Innovation Unit is here to assist you in positioning your film or television project in South Africa's ideal investment destination. Talk to us about our investment support instruments to facilitate the completion of your project. Make the Eastern Cape your filmmaking destination where you will find plenty of support services and crew for your film, a temperate climate and beautiful authentic locations. The Eastern Cape, your film destination of choice.